Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to set up Discord rich presence for VS Code. So basically this allows you to display your VS Code activity on Discord as if you're playing a game and it's just kind of a cool way to share what you're working on. So it's pretty simple to do this. You first need to go to Discord and go to settings, then go to activity privacy and make sure that this first option is on. If it's off then just turn it on and now you can X out of that, go to VS Code and go to extensions. Then you can search here for Discord, and you're gonna find this extension right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. As you can see, it has 2.2 million installs. Now on the bottom, you can see it says connected to Discord. So if I go back to my project, in this case, it's just a simple Python program. If I go to Discord, it has connected and shows up as editing high.py, and the workspace says no workspace. And I'll show you how to customize that second line in a moment here. Now, if I go to this other C++ file, which I've just created to show, then you can see it changed to a C++ icon and it has the updated file right here. Now, if I want to change the appearance of the extension, I have to go to settings in VS Code. So to do this, you go to file and preferences and settings, and then you can go to extensions and go to discord presence configuration. Now from here, you can see how, how it will appear for debugging, how it will appear for editing, how it will appear for idling. That means if you've kind of timed out, you can enable the rich presence. You can also set a timeout or a image for, since I've left a code file, it says I'm idling just because I'm in the settings. But if I go back, there's options for the large image and even the large image. If I hover over the idling, as you can see here, it says idling. I can change that text as well. And there's more info on debugging. So the second lines. So you can change this to a lot of different things. You can see there's a Git repo, file size, total lines, current line, all these different things or you can change it for editing. So in this case, let me just make it say current line and then colon and then current line is the kind of variable that it's saying to use as you can see from this information here. And let's see if there's anything else I can change here. You can even remove the lower details of the timestamp or do all these swap or a lot of different options here. So you can go through and edit this however you prefer. But if I go back to Discord and I go into a code file, let's go to high.py. Now you can see it says current line one instead of no workspace. So you can configure that however you like. It's pretty easy. You don't have to do anything with your Discord account or anything. It's very easy and very simple. So yeah, that's pretty simple and easy way to show your VS Code presence on Discord. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.